What's happening guys? It's Jen here. Welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, we're kind of just diving into the DC rally, Rescue the Republic. Um, I want to go over what happened with the sign and um, all that just so yeah, you guys are filled in. So to start this off, I just want to say Rescue the Republic rally was fucking awesome. We had an incredible time. We met a lot of cool people. And uh, yeah, I just feel very blessed that I got to be there and experience that. But on a different note, the sign. So you guys were there for the first video. We built this badass sign. Um, it was a huge nine by six foot American flag for a backdrop and it turned out really epic, but there was some bad news that followed and I'm gonna get into that. The situation today is we can't get the sign to the rally. And it's the whole reason we're here. So we're trying to figure out how to get the sign to the rally. And we're staying very calm. And if it doesn't work out, we're gonna get plastered at the bar. So essentially what happened is we ran into some issues with customs and shipping. And as most of you know, I'm up in Canada. So that is one of the struggles about living up here is most of my clients are down in the States. And once in a while, you know, it's just things don't go your way and you can do everything <laughs> in your power, but sometimes things are out of your control. So that was kind of one of these situations. So we built the sign in time. We got it down there. It was stuck in Memphis for a couple days and then it got all the way to Virginia, 45 minutes um, from the location, but they wouldn't release the shipment. We're playing darts, drinking beer, having a great time. <laughs> And trying to problem solve. We're still problem solving. We are still problem solving. We might have a solution. We might have a guy to open the gate. And we might have a driver to take the shipment out. But it's not confirmed. It's still a very high stress situation. Oh, we're making the best of it. This is the worst, you know, like off the office. That's how I feel. This is the worst. This is the worst. Um, and the amount of calls we made. Um, you know, str strings we tried to pull, we just couldn't, uh, couldn't pull this off. Since I couldn't show you my sign today, I'm gonna take you along and show you some other cool stuff, like that pointy thing over there. Just kidding, what's the name of that? <laughs> the Washington Monument, that's right. And this one over here, which is actually way cooler than anything I've done anyway, so. <laughs> Come on, let's take a look. And now over here, do you know who that is? That's Rosie the Riveter. I'm gonna take you guys to the rally. Today's awesome, it's really good. Sad. Oh yeah, I know. I'm but trying to let it go, but. Tell me about it. It hurts. It, it, hurts. <laughs> it hurts. This was a pretty funny story. Um, we were standing in one of the media tents and all of a sudden these two chicks come rushing up, rushing in and they're, can we get a picture with you? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, you guys want to take a picture with me? And I was like, so confused. I'm thinking like, oh, they must follow my art. Like, that's pretty cool, right? So we get talking and the conversation was a bit weird because, you know, I mentioned in there that I was a welder and they kind of gave me some, some funny looks and then as they're leaving the the one girl comes in gives me a big hug and says we're big fans of the Peterson family and that's when it clicked I'm like oh shit oh no I think she thinks I'm somebody else I think she thinks I'm Jordan Peterson's daughter <laughs> so so I'm talking with my team I'm like what do I do like she's gonna post that picture it's gonna be so embarrassing um so I'm like fuck I gotta go over there and clear this up uh, so I go over there and um, <laughs> yeah, I sit down with these guys. I'm like, I'm not who you think I am kind of thing. So these girls turn out to be Corey Cooper and Jen Ledger, um, who are <laughs> part of the Skillet band members. And uh, anyway, super cool chicks. I ended up showing them my art and you know, it, it all smoothed out, but pretty funny story. Art. What has caused us to converge is a powerful force a product that blooms when courage and love are combined. And so what are you doing here? I'm a welder, so I made a huge sign for the stage, but oh, yeah. it got oh, stuck yeah. in customs. So. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Yeah, that's it's, bad. Very, it's very depressing, but I still get to experience it, so. <laughs> Hello. 
to serve as commander in chief. The essential responsibility to keep the American people safe. So one of my favorite parts about my job is going to these events and making those, you know, lifelong lasting connections. And Kelsey was one of those connections. We're homegirls now. Uh, we just really hit it off. She's a badass. We actually ended up going to the Waldorf, having some drinks that night, and we just had an absolute blast. So Kelsey is, like I said, a complete badass. She does many things. Um, you look her up and find out for yourself, but um, one of her big things is brass and unity. Um, so she makes jewelry out of like bullet casings and yeah, it's some really good stuff. Definitely go check her out. Um, and it's all for a good cause, like veteran suicide awareness, all that good stuff. So make sure you go check out Kelsey, um, give her a follow. It is an honor to call him our friend. Please welcome Robert Kennedy Jr. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap. We had a really awesome day here at Rescue the Republic. I know it's a bummer the sign didn't make it on stage today, but we met a lot of cool people. We got to experience this whole thing, and yeah, overall, awesome day. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and yeah, follow along for more of this cool stuff. Hey, guys, it's Jen here. Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you live in Washington, D.C. Cut. I think it might be too big.